everyone, my name is Adam Farragali and welcome to Driven Nashville. I am a huge car enthusiast, have been my entire life. And at this channel, what we do is we source some of the best enthusiast vehicles for your entertainment. And we also do a lot of car sales because a lot of the cars that we feature, including this particular one, are available for purchase. Yeah. Subscribe to the channel because we do car content like this weekly. So this particular review is going to be about this very, very rare and very cool 997.1 Targa 4S. Now this of course is a Porsche 911 from 2008. They made about 5,800 completely over the 997.1 years, speci specifically in the Targa 4S. Now it's a lot of interesting things that make this particular 911 unique. Uh, obviously the new Targas are very different in the way that the entire rear opens rear, the thing slides back and then it leaves that part exposed. This particular year, you have basically an enlarged sunroof. You hit a button right there in the middle center, middle center console and the whole thing slides back. Gives you a very large sunroof, but you still have the rigidity, right, of the coupe. And it also really maintains the look of the coupe. So that is just kind of one of the things that's interesting. Now again, with the 997 Porsche years, they got rid of the egg headlights, right? So you have more of the you know, return to a natural 911 form with the circular headlights. And to be honest with you, this is probably one of the best looking body styles. Uh, I do like the new ones, but there's nothing wrong with the 997 generations, which is why they are appreciating in value. Now this particular vehicle has a 3.8 liter uh, flat six and it makes about 355 horsepower and 295 foot pounds of torque. What's cool about these is you can actually see the engine a little bit. Uh, this is not the Metzger power plant, right? They did carry on the Metzger, I believe, until 2011 with the RS 4.0. However, this has a 3.8 liter direct fuel injected uh, flat six. So it's still got quite a bit of power. It's still a fun car, zero to 60 in just under five seconds. Um, but I will say, in the end of the day, it's not going to smoke, you know, tires. It's, it's not a, a drag car by any means. Now, the Targa, and specifically the 4S, you know, it does have the nice haunches here. If you were to get a Carrera or a Carrera S, it's going to be, you know, not quite as a wide body. Obviously, it doesn't have the turbo inlets here that you're going to find on the 997.1 and .2 turbo models. Um, but overall, it's a really good looking car. I do like it. You know, you have daytime running lights. You have the front trunk here, which has got plenty of space, so it makes the car very practical. Now this particular car has 14-way uh, adjustable sports seats with the crest in it. Of course, it has the glorious six-speed manual. Now you could have gotten this particular car in the Trip Triptronic uh, setup for the 997.1, which was a five-speed. Uh, however, they got rid, Porsche got rid of the Triptonic, I believe it was in 2009 for the Porsche PDK, which is a significantly better gearbox. Uh, and then they really dialed it in in 2012 with the PDK from that point on is probably one of the best dual clutch transmissions in the game. However, the, the desirable one to buy and what makes this car very collectible in a future classic will absolutely be that six speed, which is just wonderful to drive. We are going to take a point of view drive so you can get a really good idea of how this car performs. A couple of other details that you might be interested in if you are a car guy like me. These are the Porsche wheels. They don't necessarily come with this, so this particular car has upgraded wheels, but these are factory Porsche wheels. 305, 19 rear tires, and I believe it has, it has 235 front tires. And then you do have the steel brakes, that's denoted in red, versus the PCCB brakes, which you could have gotten on this car, and those are yellow. So that's one upgrade this car doesn't have, but to be honest with you, I think you'll actually like the steel brakes. This is more of a grand touring car. Uh, it's really not a race car. It's never intended to be. This here does have the blacked out badges here. This is an upgrade you can get, so Targa 4S. Quad exhaust looks really good. Now, one thing I'll mention about the exhaust here, it's not loud. That is, that is one thing about the car. It just doesn't have that sport exhaust that, that really screams, there's no backfiring. So if you've got this vehicle, you know, that might be one upgrade I might do. It's at 30, 39,000 miles. So you're talking about a 12, 13 year old vehicle here. So you know, don't expect it to be brand new uh, because it does have some years on it. Uh, there's a couple of scratches here that we're gonna help correct. 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and you know leather condition the leather here and, and kind of restore it best that we can. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a service for you. So this car will be ready to go. And really because it is such low miles and the clutch is in great condition, the engine's in great condition, uh, you're, you're gonna have a really good time. Uh, I think this car is gonna hold its value. I think it'll continue to appreciate. I mean, this was not a cheap car. Uh, if you were looking to buy a 2008 Targa 4S, even back then, I believe the starting price was $98,000. With upgrades, this car was probably coming at closer to $110,000. So it might even be a little bit more than that. Uh, so definitely not a cheap car. It is going to be for sale for just under $70,000. And uh, hopefully the lucky owner uh, gets to uh, take this one home. I think this is a great car. It's classy. It's just going to age so well. And uh, I don't know about you, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and get in on to the interior here. And I can you show do you. have the Targa 4S sill here. You have the ability to open your front trunk, your obviously your rear here. <coughs> and you know, you do have the older center style, which is all button uh, driven, which is kind of nice. Uh, I, I think this is again gonna age fairly well. You know, you have the ability here to take off, uh, put, it in, put it in your uh, harsher suspension mode here, raise and lower the wing. Uh, of course you have the old, analog dials they look fantastic in white here uh, just just a really good looking uh, place to spend time you know again the new porsches they've really come a long way here and you know this is all that soft plastic they have nice leather here but you know you can get the extended leather trim the alcantara and all the new ones but still it is a really nice place to spend time the seats are very very comfortable you do have practical back seats and notice when you do have the Target 4S top down, you do lose a lot of sight visibility. You have to actually raise this screen separately, which you can do, although it is kind of nice just to have the open air here, right? And you can see here, it does create a very airy cabin, uh, quite enjoyable on a beautiful day like today. It's Sunday today, it couldn't be nicer. All right, everybody, we're driving the 2008 Targa 4S on some of my favorite back roads. Yes, car feels excellent. You know, it's it's got the more goosey suspension. Doesn't have the GT4-like suspension in it, right? Or, or the turbo suspension. It's a little more tight, but it's still fun. It's got the 911 driving characteristics to it, right? Where it really does like to you know rev out, but at the same time, it's got that little rear weight bias so you know when you take your foot off the gas it's, it kind of gives you a little shimmy and and that kind of lets you know that you're you know you're testing the car you're you're feeling it you're feeling what it's capable of doing it's just a it's a nice car you know i mean it it's not a cheap car when it came out but you know when you could pick this thing up for seventy thousand dollars it's quite a bit of car for the money you know it's it, it does get a lot of attention just because of the classic lines and the classic looks you know and you know, with the four-wheel drive system, you know, when you come out of a turn like this, even though I didn't downshift, it just hooks, and you got plenty of power. I mean, how fast do you want to go, right? I mean, that's 83. <laughs> so, with about 90% throttle coming out of that turn, uh, I will say hard on the brakes right there. Brakes do feel really good. Very progressive. You know, the PCCBs, I've, I've reviewed three, four cars now, uh, specifically Porsches that have them, and, you know, they're great, don't get me wrong, but they squeal when they're cold. They don't initially bite. You do really got to push on them. Now, once they warm up, they're fantastic. They're world-class brakes, but I would honestly encourage most people to buy the steel brakes. And the ultimate ironic part about that is, you know, most guys that track those cars, they actually remove the PCCB brakes because they're so expensive to replace. So when they actually track the cars, they put the red steel brakes back on them, or they buy, you know, aftermarket brakes for them because they don't want to ruin their, uh, their carbon ceramic rotors, which I always thought was interesting because the whole point of buying the PCCBs, I thought, was to take it to the track. But I've come to find out that they're so expensive to replace that it just doesn't make a lot of sense you know, necessarily to uh, <laughs> to track them with it on. So again, if you're the guy who buys this car or the woman who buys this car, let's be honest, you know, you're probably not gonna take, uh, a, you know, a 997 generation Targa to the racetrack. You're just gonna, you know, drop that hood and you're gonna enjoy a beautiful day like, like today. 
doing exactly what I'm doing, right? Just running through the gears and just enjoying yourself. Uh, this car is just fantastic. You know, it gets 16 miles to the gallon in the city and 22 on the highway. I will say, you know, back in 2008, uh, you know, the, the world and the manufacturers were, were on their, you know, eco eco mode. So they, they had the, you know, the, the higher fuel restriction regulations and, and emission noise regulations and things like that. So this car doesn't necessarily sound uh, as, as ferocious uh, but don't get me wrong, it does sound good. I, I probably would open up the exhaust if I was the next owner a little bit. I'd, I'd probably get rid of the stock mufflers and, and just try to really, because I think if this thing had a, a, you know an exhaust that gave you a little bit of a backfire and, and really opened it up, I, I think not only would it unlock some of the, the hidden horsepower from that 3.8 liter, but frankly, it would really add to the enjoyment factor because with that Targa roof, right, once you once you take the roof down, Hell, it's going to be fantastic, you know, if you can hear that exhaust. Right now, you're just hearing that beautiful flat six, and don't get me wrong, it sounds good. It just doesn't have that raucous, you know, I mean, when you're when you're up around 7, 7,500 RPMs, I think this thing redlines at 73, you know, it really does sound pretty darn good with a custom exhaust. As it sits right now, eh, you know, I can take or leave the sound. Don't get me wrong, the flat six still does sound pretty good. You could really feel that four-wheel drive system. So they made the Targa in just, I, th I think they just made an S, well, they made a four and they made a four S, but the Targa only came in four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. But man, I tell you what, when you come out, it's so much fun, you know, to lay on the gas in these older cars and just be able to full throttle it. You know? I definitely would recommend that you buy the manual if you are going to buy an older school Porsche. The Triptronic is just not as good as, you know, and, and frankly, as you all know, you know, the manuals are dying. Uh, a lot of the manufacturers today aren't even offering vehicles that are manual, right? So, you know, let's be honest, this is definitely a car that uh, is going to just appreciate because not only is it very rare, uh, they didn't make a tremendous amount of them. Uh, I mean, look at that. You could easily take that turn in second, but you got plenty of power. I uh, will say Tennessee is beautiful. You can see there, you know, taking the turn with a little bit of power, the car hooks quite easily. You don't always have to, you know, run it all the way out to really enjoy the car. It does have that 3.8 liter Porsche characteristic engine, you know, where you, <laughs> it really picks up power all the way to 6,600 RPMs. So if you want to exploit the vehicle as far as the performance of it, you're just going to have to run it out. I mean, realistically on a road like this, if you want to continue to have max performance, you're, not, you're going to be between second, third and fourth. You're really never going to need fifth. You know, fifth and sixth are pretty much overdrive gears. You know, right there, I'm just giving it half throttle, letting the car run out. It's fun. Yeah, this car is a good time. It's so analog. And I want to make sure that I say that on camera. The car is so analog, right? What I mean by that is, you know, it's just hydraulic steering, hydraulic brakes. You know, it's just everything is old school about it. And from that point of view, you're going to love it. You know, it, it's, it's just... It has a characteristic, you know, that's why this car is going to be a future classic. All of these 997s are. If you can find a good example, you know, low miles like this one is, it runs well, in good condition, get it, you know? I really don't think you're going to go wrong. I mean, you know, the, the look of them, the performance, uh, there's a lot of car here, you know? There's a lot of car here for the money. There's a lot to love. Yeah, I just turned on uh, PASM, P-A-S-M, so basically the active uh, dampeners. And man, I tell you, when you turn those things on, you really notice the difference. Uh, the car feels much, much, much tighter on the road. You feel every bump now. So it's a pretty drastic transformation between regular suspension and putting the active dampeners on. It, it's pretty, pretty incredible. Hey guys, let's do a little bit of a run out on this thing, shall we? This is the best spot on this drive today to do it. And 
That's a hundred right there. We'll do it all day long. Not only will it do it all day long, but it's built for it. Porsche always over engineers their gearboxes, their motors. At the end of the day, they are a race car, racing inspired company. And that's why they're very desirable. And these old school, you know, 997s with the hydraulic steering and the classic steel brakes and just just fantastic car put that top down you pop this thing you know in fourth gear on a nice country road like this with the with the you know windows down and you are in you're you're in a good headspace you know you're, you're gonna have a good time well enjoyed uh the video uh the point of view drive you know to to wrap it up i, I really think that porsche nailed uh, the 997 generation cars. There's a reason why guys love them. There's a reason why they're appreciating. You know, not only do they just look fantastic with the classic style front end and the headlights, and you still have that fantastic slope, uh, but the performance, you know, this car only has 355 horsepower, but it's still a great, fun, enjoyable sports car. It's got plenty of power. You know, you could really run it, run it out and enjoy it. Um, I hope that uh, you all got something out of this video and if you are looking to purchase this car, our friends and partners at Direct Auto of Tennessee, I will be happy to hook you up. I believe this vehicle is going to be for sale for uh, 69000 and change and uh, should be on the internet here in the next few weeks. Uh, we are going to get it, like I said, dialed in for you so that you end up getting a very collectible car. Uh, overall though, I mean, you saw it on the point of view drive, this thing is ready to go. I mean, other than the tire uh, pressure monitoring sensors that need to be, uh, the batteries need to be changed or the monitors need to be changed out, which is simple. Uh, this thing's pretty much ready to go. So we're really excited to, uh, to offer this car. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please message me. It's an absolute pleasure making these videos. We absolutely love it. Uh, cars and it's just been an absolute passion of mine for, for a long time now. And I hope I can continue to bring you great car content. Please like and subscribe. We try to do one of these videos every single week. And I will look forward to your comments. And thank you as always for watching. My name again is Adam. And this is it for me. Let's end with some really cool drone montage. I got a really cool flyaway shot here, which I'll show. And I'll talk to you on the next one.